like, did we forget that, like, our opinions don't have to apply to everyone? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is what I do, and I'm back with another video. My next video is planned to be a product review, so, uh, yeah, but today we have another commentary video instead. So, today's video is on what I like to call the moral panic of music, and I will explain what I mean. So, what made me make this video is that I've heard a lot of people, especially in my personal life, say that indie music is better than bigger artists or pop music, even though there's genres like indie pop. So, that doesn't really make any sense to me. But also, it's just plainly not true. And I'm going to talk about that today. Because the art of musicians should be based individually on the music itself and not the person or how many listeners they have. I know for some artists recently it's hard to recognize that they have talent, that their music is good, because they say some awful stuff outside of their music. And, you know, it all depends person to person, musician to musician. There are some musicians that I just cannot listen to after something that they've done. Sometimes I can separate the art from the artist, but it's okay if you don't. But in this case particularly, when we're judging indie music versus bigger, more popular music, we should be basing it just on the music itself because it's not like one genre is going to be full of racists and the other is going to be full of, I don't know, not racists. That's basically what I'm saying is both groups are you know, artists should just be judged individually. It's kind of like judging a book by its cover. We don't do that. We don't judge books by their cover. We read the inside. I think it's okay to choose a book based on its cover, like I've done that before, but you can't just say a book is bad because you think the cover art is bad. I listen to both bigger artists and what some would consider indie artists. I definitely think that I'm getting more into indie artists recently, especially this year. But um, here are just some examples. For bigger artists, I have Taylor Swift, Adele, Bailey Eilish, Ava Max, kind of, but I just put that in there, and then Casey Musgraves. For indie artists, the ones that came to my mind were Caroline Rose, Morgan Reese, and Michaela Davis. Of course, I do listen to more artists than that, but if I listed every artist that I listened to in the video, it would be a much longer video. There was Claire Rosencrantz that I was going to put down, and then I looked at her monthly listeners and was like, maybe some people may not consider that to be an indie musician. Honestly, what even does indie mean? I, I have that in my notes. What does indie even mean? I don't know if you can see it. I have a lot of notes for today. But, yeah, what does indie even mean? So, according to this magazine called Hummingbird Magazine from the Post in 2020, an indie artist is someone that releases music independent from a commercial record label. So, I'm not sure if that means some other type of record label or just releases it themselves because I think you can just start your own mini label for yourself and then put your own music onto platforms like Spotify and Apple Music. Kind of how with Amazon Books and Kindle, people, like, it's now easier to self-publish books by just self-publishing ebooks. So I think that's a correct analogy. Correct me if I'm wrong. Many indie artists that would be considered indie artists by people, including some of the ones that I mentioned, belong to a record label. But places like Wikipedia still cite these artists as indie because they have qualities such as probably less than 3 million listeners on Spotify. Claire Rosencrantz, the last time I checked, has a bit over 2 million, which is why I was kind of on the fence of considering her an indie artist. But they also present themselves with alternative styles. You know, there is indie pop, but it definitely still sounds different between... I guess what some consider bigger pop or more pop pop or popular pop, if that makes sense. Like, they're still a little different. It's still more alternative in a way. Okay, listen to some Ariana Grande from 2018, then listen to some Caroline Rose from 2018, and hopefully you can tell the difference in how the vocals sound, and hopefully that'll help you to understand 
what I'm saying. But when we're considering the definition of what an indie artist is, or just indie in general, I think it's a good thing to consider that words change meaning over time. Especially in the English language, words change meaning and have new meanings all the time, influenced by the culture that uses the word. So what is the modern definition of indie? An artist that is not well known and one that releases music independently. That is what I came up with. They can have two meanings. One, they can, you know, self-publish their music on YouTube or other platforms. Or they can just be not that well known, but, you know, still be a part of a record label. Because websites have not obeyed the old definition, which is okay, because now we have a new one. Whenever someone mentions what they think is an indie artist and you're like, um, they belong to a record label, actually, don't do that. I went through that definition pretty thoroughly, but what is the moral panic of music? Now that I think of it, there is a literal moral panic of music, but that's not what I'm talking about here. It's when people say things like, we need to listen to smaller artists, and yes, we do. But then, it's not just, we need to listen to smaller artists, guys, support the small artists. It's never just that, usually. Then, then it gets to, bigger artists don't have talent, and new music, good music isn't new, or new music hasn't been good for 30 years, and blah, blah. Just because you found a small artist that you like does not mean that bigger artists don't have as much talent or even equal talent just because you found a band from the 60s that you really like that played at Woodstock does not mean that new, that new music is not good. It just isn't good to you. Art is subjective. I've heard one of my teachers say that he said that new music hasn't been good for 30 years but he also said that it's probably a generational thing and that there will always be like, people who think that new music isn't good because the oldies are good when really it's just nostalgia and not how good the actual music is. Then there are people who are like, I like that before they were cool. Okay, do you want a trophy? Just because you want to be seen as unique and special and you hate that other people like the same things you do? Okay, in a few seconds I say I'm talking, but I say that really fast and it sounds like I say the F word. But no, I did not say that. Disliking someone just because they're popular in general, not even music. I'm talking influencers, someone at school. Disliking someone just because they're popular is as vain as the thing that you're claiming to be against. If you think that the popular girl at your school is vain and not a good person for whatever reason that isn't a real reason, and then you hate them just because they're popular, that's as vain as you think that person is. It's hypocritical in my opinion. Now, how to respond to people who say things like this, that bigger artists aren't as good as indie artists because, frankly, if Taylor Swift didn't have any talent, why do you think she would be here? People have been pointing to the fact that even before she was a musician at 16, her parents still made a lot of money, which, yes, they did. But that doesn't mean that she doesn't have a great voice, that she didn't work hard to write songs after school, and it doesn't mean that everyone who listens to her are sheep. And this is definitely my Swifty talking, but people have been using the word or phrase Nepo Baby way too often nowadays, and people have been calling her a Nepo Baby, which doesn't make sense because neither of her parents worked directly in the music industry, and even the Nepo Babies that do actually exist, a lot of them still have talent because they were forced to become something more than just a rich daughter or son of two rich parents. So ways to respond to people who say this. Just say, okay, so what? Also think and say to them, Art is objective because it is and you could say your opinion isn't the only one that exists because people act like that don't apologize for it say I'm not gonna apologize for genuinely liking the music that I do because no one should have to apologize to be themselves or like the things that they do especially because it's literally just music it's not that deep now before I end this video I want to touch on the I'm not like other girls so, we've been focused on the people that try to be like everyone else that we forget that people still have similarities. No person is different than everyone else completely. Because we all have to maintain 
homeostasis. You know, we all have to breathe, we all have to pump blood through our veins, we all have to walk to get out of bed, walk to the bathroom. Sometimes there are things that you can't control that are similar to other people and that's okay. You can enjoy Taylor Swift and older artists as well. You can enjoy Taylor Swift and indie musicians as well, like the ones that I mentioned. Like Kayla Davis, Delivery, amazing album. Loner by Caroline Rose, amazing album. Both of these albums came out in 2018. I believe they both have actually new music coming out soon this year. I believe she's releasing something in March. And she's releasing something later this year, I believe. You know, Taylor Swift's on a roll tour, so she doesn't have to release anything. She can just keep doing what she's doing. By the way, I'm going to one of her shows in August, so I will be making videos on things that I'm getting for the concert, ways that I'm preparing, and my outfit, so follow for those types of videos too. Plus, things like this can apply all over life. Like, you can be on social media without feeling guilty about the harm that it has, because nothing is black and white, good or bad. In my opinion, in modern times, no person is straight up a bad person. No person is straight up a good person. Because when we see people through the screen, we kind of forget that maybe if we got to know them and we became friends with them, we would be able to sympathize with that person or have empathy for them. You can be basic and different at the same time. You can enjoy pumpkin spice lattes and not have to be labeled as basic as well because Honestly, calling people basic just for enjoying simple things is the new basic. Calling other people cringe is the new cringe. And it's not embarrassing to care. It's not embarrassing for you to use an umbrella at school. I can't believe I have to say that. But you actually look stupider walking into class soaked from the rain than you do if you use an umbrella at school. Also, it's likely that no one really cares besides you about what you like and how you want to be different than other people because if they do care, that's on them. We don't need to stress about what other people think about us. And I know some of you who watch my channel aren't religious because I'm not really a Christian channel, but I am a Christian person and I believe in heaven. So if you believe in heaven or any sort of afterlife, you're not going to be asked what other people thought of you while you lived. You're going to be asked about what you did to improve the world, what you did to help the people around you, what you did to leave a legacy of just doing good things for people in the world. So it doesn't matter what music you listen to. It doesn't matter if you think that someone is like dumb or whatever. Basically what I'm saying is it doesn't matter. Focus on yourself and let people live. Like, did we forget that like our opinions don't have to apply to everyone. Anyways, I hope you all have had a great day today. I know I have because I've been doing nothing. And see you guys in the next video. Also, follow my Instagram because I'm being more active on there. I'm posting some pictures sometimes and giving some updates on videos too. So, see you all in the next video. Bye!